Let's do the integral problems. So for number six, the only issue you might run into is you're not used to seeing these expressions written like this. And if you don't know what this region looks like, you won't be able to graph this on your calculator. So it might help to think of these curves in, as y written as a function of x, just so that you can graph them. When we do graph them, and sorry that that's happening off screen, this, this computer I'm working on doesn't have calculator emulation I can show you. I'm physically using a calculator. Um, this is the cubed root of x, the bigger function. This is the square root of x the smaller function and area is just the larger function minus the smaller function. You could use your calculator's intersect feature to find where this region begins and ends, or maybe you can just, in your head, the cubed root of one is one, the square root of one is one, um, likewise zero. The cubed root and the square root are both zero. Remember the cubed root is x to the one third. So that will bump up to four thirds and we'll put a three fourths. X to the one half will bump up to three halves and we'll put a two thirds. And we're going from zero to one, plug in one, we get three fourths minus two thirds, plug in zero, we get to zero. Um, I guess we need a common denominator. That would be 12. So 9 twelfths minus 8 twelfths. I make that area 1 twelfth. And let's go ahead and do the other area problem as well. So number seven, and we always need to graph these things. We need to know what the region looks like in number seven, we've got X 
squared. And we've got two minus x. And we've got the x-axis. So this is what we're looking for. The integral is the upper curve, two minus x. Minus the lower curve, x squared. Let's see, this region begins at x equals zero. And it ends where these curves touch one another. So either by solving this algebraically or by using your calculator's intersect feature, you get x equals one. And then there, there is another point of intersection, but it's over here. This is the point of intersection you're looking for where X is positive. So let's see, negative one third x cubed minus one half x squared plus two x from zero to one. We plug one in here, we get negative one third minus one half plus two. We plug zero in here, we get to zero. So, okay, what, what would this be then? You could just plug this into your calculator, of course. Negative one third is negative two sixths minus three sixths. So negative five sixths. So if we have two and we take away five sixths, we're left with one and a sixth. 